Hello, I'm Miro. Today, I will take you through a beginner spine mobility class to re-energize our nervous system. Let's begin. We're going to stand up for the start of the class. Have your feet firmly pressed down to the ground. Have your feet parallel positioned and the heels aligned to the center of your hip. We're going to soften the knees, lifting tall, and then we're going to roll down. So take an in-breath. Exhale as we allow our head to knot down and we allow our spine to go down, articulating each vertebra. Just go to where you feel comfortable. Then we're going to take the pelvis down as we take our spine a little closer to the ground. We inhale at the bottom. We exhale. We're going to start from the pelvis. We're going to roll the pelvis underneath you and we're going to bring the lumbar spine above the pelvis, the middle spine, upper back and standing nice and tall. And repeat, softening the knees. We roll down, try to keep the movement nice and smooth. Again, only go to where you feel comfortable. Bring the pelvis forward if you like to and bring the body closer to the ground. In breath, exhale, we send the bum underneath you and we roll up, roll up, roll up, roll up and we lift. Last one. And exhale, softening the knees and the head drops down, the neck, upper back, middle back, lower spine and the pelvis, we fall through the hips in breath. Exhale, we roll up. This time, we're just going to go halfway up. Place your hands on your thigh. You can soften the knees a little bit more. And now here, we're going to send the pelvis back and send the spine nice and long. Your weight is equally to the front of your feet and equally to the back of your feet. And then from here, we're going to breathe out. We draw in the belly, we round the back, go into what we call flexion. Inhale, into a nice long back. Exhale, we curl, pulling in and up with the spine. Inhale, we lengthen the spine. Exhale, we're just gonna move the spine here. Inhale, two more. Exhale, in breath. Last one, exhale, in breath. And exhale, we round again, and then we're going to take our spine up to a standing positioned. Okay, now half your feet slightly wider than the pelvis, taking the left arm up to the sky and side bend over towards your right. Lifting and take it down and the other arm comes up and side bend over to the opposite direction. And we lift, we plant our feet down, we lift up tall and we take the arms up and we inhale and over, inhale, plant the feet down, reaching up, and in breath, and over, and lift, and then let's go one more set, inhale, we reach tall, and side bend over, and reach even taller, and down, last one, reaching up, and over we go, and we'll lift up tall, 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 tall. And well done. Let's take ourselves down to the ground. Okay, onto your mat. Lie on your back. Have your feet as wide as your mat. Have your arms into a T position. Hip roll is the name of the exercise. We're going to drop the legs towards me. And you can turn your head in opposite direction and come back to center and then drop over to the other side and turn your head into the opposite direction and come back. And we drop and come back and we drop and come back. Just use your breath to move in breath. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, one more each side in breath. Exhale. Last one. Now we're going to take the arms along. So we're going to drop it towards me. Then the opposite arm, we're going to slide down and then we'll take our spine over 
to the other side. And we reverse the arm, trail it down and bring it back to your center. We drop the leg to you, the back arm will come along and move the spine with you. And we trail the arm down and come back and we drop. Try to keep this movement as smooth as possible. And allow the body to just go where it wants to go and drop and we take the arm, follow the arm as you move the arms up. And again, drop the legs, move the arms and allow the body to follow through with the arms and bring it down and again drop and around and bring it down and again drop arm come around and bring it down and last one drop arm comes around and we bring it back and we come back to the center wasn't that good all right, now let's turn to your side. Now here, I have a cushion. You can use a cushion and prop the cushion underneath your head if you like to, like so. Or you may also not use the cushion and just rest your head down to the floor like so. So I'm just lucky to find a position that is most comfortable. Obviously, the cushion will help you to prop the head a little bit more. All right, now I'm just gonna use without the cushion here, because, okay. Now I'd like you to stack the arms together and have your feet aligned with the spine here. Lifting out the side, underneath side here. Here, we're going to do a little windmill arm. So we're gonna reach the arm forward and we're gonna trail your eyes with the arm. We take the arm overhead and then we're gonna take the arm behind you, allow the body to open with the arm and trail the arm down and meet at the front again. We're gonna reach, we're just gonna use your breath and around and down. So imagine you are on the stove, snow. You, now I remember when I first met the snow and you know, as a child, we were just so excited. You, want, you know what I did? I lie on my front and then I start with the face down and I do a little sort of angel wings arm. And so just imagine you are on the snow and you're just going to trail and make a circle with your arm on the snow. Use your breath and around, I'm trying to remember where it was when I first met the snow, I think it was Australia, yeah. And then down, it was, I was in Australia and uh, it was Mambular, that's right. I was so excited to see my first snow and down. We have reverse direction, by the way. In breath. And down. Inhale, trail your hands on that snow, make a circle as big as you can. Last one. And Okay, coming up, other side. Okay, use a pillow or not, cushion or not cushion. I leave it up to you, lie on the side, stack the legs, align the feet with the spine and the arms too. We're gonna reach the arm forward and then we're gonna bring it up, make a big circle on that snow round. And in breath forward, and around, allow the movement of the arm, opens your body, opens your spine, use your breath. And around, and in breath. And around, and last one. And around, come back to the center and we go down. And you may be wondering where do I, where I got my accent from, so, I used to live in Australia for quite a while, and for maybe eight years. So that's when I first found snow in Australia. Very exciting. And I used to make big angel wing arms and legs with the snow. Last one. And around. Okay, and come back in. All right, and come up. Come up, come up, come up, and let's sit. Okay, so perching on your sitting bone, nice and tall diamond leg, arms up to the side. Let's go over, side bend to your right. 
And then from here, I'd like you to pull the center in and diagonally rotate the body. Reach. So your chest will be facing down over your thigh and come back, face me, and come on up. And over to the other side. And rotate. And come back. And come up. And again, over. And rotate. And come back. And side. And again, side bend. Rotate. Come back. And last set in breath. And rotate. Pull back with the abdominal. And come back. Last one. Side bend. Rotate. Pull back with the abdominal. And come back. All right, let's go to a modified quadruped position for our cat stretch. So we have your hands aligned with the shoulder. Your pelvis is somewhere between your knee and the heels. Tuck the toes under, proud chest, strong arm, long spine. We breathe out, we pull in the abdominal muscle, we're gonna curl the pelvis, gonna round and drop the head and look between the legs. Inhale, flat back, and then we're going to take the upper back, arching forward and up, the neck still long. Exhale, we pull in and round the back. We inhale, lengthen through the spine, and arch. Exhale, we pull in and round. Inhale, we lengthen through the spine, and arch. Let's go two more. Exhale, Inhale, exploring the range of your mobility in the spine. Last one. Enjoy, find joy in movement. And stay. Now hold that in extension. I want you to stretch your arms forward. One, two, lower the chest down. And we're just going to hold this stretch. And we in breath. Exhale, allow the gravity to take the weight of your body a little bit more here. <clears throat> Two more. Exhale. Last one. Exhale. And then slowly bring the pelvis to your heels and roll the spine up. <sighs> Sitting nice and tall. Excellent, excellent. Observe how is your spine feeling now? Do you feel full of energy in your spine? Take it out, the kinks out of your body. Well done. Thank you for moving with me today. I see you back on the mat tomorrow. Take care. Thank you for watching and completing the class. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my seven day beginner challenge. Click the first link in the comment below and sign up. You will receive daily workout videos focused on building a sustainable practice in as little as 15 minutes per day. This is for all levels as everyone can gain a deeper understanding of the Pilates fundamentals. If you enjoy my work, please like, comment and subscribe and turn on notification so you do not miss any of my free classes and programs. See you on the mat tomorrow.